Hi everyone, it's David at Hampton Court Palace Golf Club. I hope you're well, hope you had a great week so far. Just wanted to bring your latest update on the 15th of June. Um, you're gonna hear from Carl and his team and see about see what the guys have been up to on the golf course and how they get the golf course in such great condition. A lot of work goes on behind the scenes to get the course looking as it is, um, which makes it ideal, especially now we've got the great weather. And now we're just gonna be fight, fighting that good weather just to keep it, um, keep the water on the on the greens and the grass nice and green as you can see behind me so the past week we've had the men's club championship last weekend what a great weekend it was um the winning um net was richard evans uh, so well done richard uh, as the net club champion and rich is also leading the race to the 2k um, for the men's side uh, the winning club champion this year is palmer hesley so well done palmer with uh, scores of 71 and 78 uh, fantastic effort. I know how much practice and time Palmer's put in, seeing him up here quite a lot, having lessons with uh, Pete Lockett uh, and practicing hard on and off the golf course. So well done Palmer. This coming weekend we've got the Ladies Club Championship as well. So look, looking forward to that and of course again the guys are getting in great shape ready for, ready for the ladies this weekend. At the end of the month we've got the race of the 2k the next round so again try and get yourself entered into that you can do that all through the ig app um, some other things that's great for the members at the moment the skill sessions there are tons of skill sessions going on you can get booked in when you go onto the professionals page on the website so take a little look on there get yourself booked in we're going to be launching july sessions towards the end of this month so keep a close eye on that for the for next month's bookings just make sure you go onto the professional page, find the time and date that suits you. You'll find a bit more about what the lesson's about, what the skill center is about, um, and who it's with, and you can book directly with the professional as well. Morning all, a lovely weekend, and um, and uh, club chance went well. And with the women club chance coming up as well this week, we've um, we've done a little bit of work to the green, so we've, we've tired them after all the work we kind of done last week. Um, you know, after that kind of, a lot of play on them, um, and also a lot of rolling, a lot of cutting. We try to get the uh, tines in there, just to get the air back in there, get it all breathing again, keep them healthy. Um, so we've done that on Monday. They've been rolled out today, they've been cut. Um, so that's all good. And um, they're a bit dry today. The weather really has kind of um, shown why this place dries out so quickly. So it was quite scary coming in on uh, coming in this morning. I put out a lot of water last night as well, and it's still. Um, still leaving us a bit dry, um, but we're doing what we can. We're doing the right things when we can as well. We've got wet and agents all over, um, all across the wall to wall. So from uh, greens to apps to tees to fairways, um, wet and agents just something to hold the moisture in just that little bit better um, and get sprayed out um, by us. So we do. We have been doing a lot of that. Hopefully, we look like we might be getting a little bit of rain on Saturday night um, and Sunday morning. So um, that should green us up again, um, but. The course was in great nick. Um, I think you can all agree at how well the boys have done um, and how well it played also. So they're doing really well with that. Um, going forward, what we're going to be doing, um, cutting regime is going to keep the same. Um, we'll be keeping uptake of um, just how much water we're putting out. We've got to be so careful not to put too much out. So um, we're putting out where we can and um, at the moment. So Sam's over on the night for now, he's got a moisture meter over there, um, checking any areas that are kind of under 26, um, just to make sure they're topped up. Um, although the irrigation is good, with the, the wind we get, it doesn't always get down. So, um, and it seems to be quite windy here at night, which is really kind of frustrating. So sometimes we're not getting the full water out that we wanted to. Um, so we'll be doing a lot of hand watering, um, just to keep everything green, keep it looking nice. Um, we've got a few bits to spray. I got to spray greens on on uh, on Friday, uh, when the wind's right down, just so we get the full impact of the growth regulator on there. Stop it growing so fast, and and kind of um, just make them a little bit more manageable for us. Um, fairways, we're going to try and cut them a little bit less now, just because it's getting a little bit hotter. Apart from you know first and eighteen where we do have water, um, all the others have just dried out massively. So. Putting a uh, fairway of mowers over it all the time doesn't help it out. It just makes it more dry and keep cutting it. You know, it just stresses the plant out a little bit. Um, the kind of reason it goes to the brown, it's trying to shield itself from the sun so it reflects off rather than when it's kind of green, it's kind of, you know, take it, taking it in. So um, 
it's basically trying to tell us it's sunburned basically trying to trying to protect itself um so that's why it goes to the color that it does um so they kind of clear telltale signs for us that we're drying out um also walkway areas if we can try and be a little bit better with them um i know it's really hard but you can see this bit on 18 at the back here you can tell people just walking around there which is fine um so i'd rather be doing that than walking across any approaches uh any tees things like that so try and use pathways where you can any walkways that we've we've added in front of the tees if you try to keep them as best as possible and again pitch marks is um quite a big thing for us you know i'm just looking on 18 here and there's you know i'm looking at five just just in the front here so um if you see it just just try and get one or two more um as you go you know we're always trying to do the best we can with pitch marks and um also we've got the divot mixes uh bins on on the tees as well so if you don't mind trying to trying to help us out where you can you know we really appreciate it now the boys start going on holiday um you know i'm away in two weeks so um we're a little bit short staffed sometimes so yeah we really appreciate it let's finish hand cutting it it's looking real real tight out here really smart the new run up here and the hand cut approach really warm weekend got a sweat on just cutting them this morning um greens are running really well um we've still got rollies at the moment but they are sitting at about 10 foot um yesterday so we are kind of looking between that and kind of 10 and a half for the weekend so they are real quick um we've not made the pins too hard but not too easy um, over the weekend we've made some pin positions up so you'll get them when you um when you pick up your scorecard yeah of course it's looking real great boys smashed it this week a lot of hours have gone in um and um the results look look brilliant so the team's done a great job so just if you see them just thank them for all their hard work um and we hope you have a real good uh weekend out here
So that's it from us this week. Um, if you wanted to keep up to date, you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, um, share the posts and the images and all the bits and pieces that we have going on there. Really appreciate it to get the word out and show what we're doing and get golfing are doing across Hampton. Um, if you can send us your feedback, you can email me directly, david at hamptoncourtgolf.co.uk. You can drop me a direct message on WhatsApp as well. And you can join us on the WhatsApp uh, members members group. We've got two groups running. It is the same information fed into both. Um, and obviously you can find out more on the website as well. It's really important that we, uh, we get your feedback, the good, the bad and the ugly. The team really appreciate the good uh, because it really does help with the staff morale and make, you know, we all come into work to, to deliver a great place and to, to make it better. We know that it will never be perfect. Nothing ever is, but we're certainly working towards it. So the good news stories do really help the team um, in the various areas and departments. But likewise, the not so good news as well, the things that you would like to see uh, changed and improved on. Uh, we really do appreciate it um, and it's finding that fine balance uh, but we certainly hope you're appreciating everything that we're doing at the moment the way that the course is shaping up is really really nice the clubhouse is coming along um, hopefully a lot of you have met Ella and you'll start to meet Joe as well the new head chef and uh, we look forward to seeing you over the next week have a great week everybody and good luck to the ladies in the club championship this weekend